everyone welcome back to my channel and today I do have my huge not so huge but my Ulta and Sephora haul everybody loves that kind of video so I've not I have not done that for a quite a while so here I am I do have two bags the other one is a box and the other one is an Ulta bag and I'm probably gonna start with my Sephora because I did not order a lot just you know they don't have really a lot of new stuff but definitely I gravitated to the ones that are collectibles and I'm a collector of makeup palettes so I definitely will have to grab all of these products so if you're new in my channel I am Jacqueline my name in YouTube is Jacqueline 80 Joyce and if you haven't subscribed please do and give me the thumbs up so you will be notified all the time if you press that bell button you'll be notified all the time of all my videos that I post so without further ado let's get started with my haul the first product is this Too Faced um, Natural Eyes palette. Um, I'd never saw this coming. I just saw it like available already in Sephora. I'm not exactly sure if I probably missed some of the marketing stuff, but definitely I, as soon as I saw it, I had to order it. It is very nice. It's very sleek. I love the way they did this. It's very dainty and this is more of like a, it's not glass. The embossing is really, really nice. It does have a very um, intricate kind of embossed. It does smell like vanilla. I'm not sure. I'm so bad with trying to describe any kind of smell, but definitely it does kind of smell like vanilla with a little bit of um, cinnamon. But the colors are very, very natural. Definitely something that I can wear for my everyday. And I'll be very glad to make a video about my everyday makeup look. Especially when I have to go out with my clients. And for work purposes, these are very beautiful. This is not the matte. I think when I ordered the matte, as I can see here, they do have the 2-4. Four. 4 shimmer and the rest. 2-4. 5 is the matte color but there's another one that is uh, Too Faced Natural Eyes completely matte so I'm really looking forward on that they ran out of stock my order would be to follow but definitely this from Too Faced is I uh, you know I'm really loving everything I totally recommend that so much to everybody so the next thing that I got is I'm kind of like late on this product this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Again, I'm a collector and Anastasia always comes up with amazing, amazing colors and palettes. So, yeah, I gotta have it. It took me a while though because I just felt like before, when it first came out, it just felt like another gimmick. You know, another, it's just all the colors are similar, but it's not. And uh, after everybody has been raving about it, I caved in and definitely have to get it. So, I did order it. They always have this um, unique kind of... Um, what do you call this packaging it is kind of like velvet which is similar with the renaissance palette and i think there's another one the prism is also velvet so they're more of like a velvet i'm not exactly sure if this is something that they will have permanently because um typically i kind of notice that every time it's like permanent it's always like the velvet it's like the trademark of anastasia so here are the colors and definitely they are very promising and something that is very wearable for everyday look or for special occasions, daytime, nighttime. It's very, very much um, usable. It's not something that you can just put aside. Definitely, these are beautiful. And I'm very glad to do some tutorials on this product. So as usual, it's Anastasia. Why can I not have all of them, right? So the next thing that I have here that I ordered is the Huda. The Huda foundation. Everybody's raving about this and I just I had a really hard time trying to find my color, my shade. So right now, if it, I always end up very fair or a little darker from my skin tone. So I got this this time is the shortbread. So let's see if it does match. I heard that this product is it has a scent. I you know, I mean usually foundations don't have like a a pleasing scent. So I'm gonna try it. I think it's still very fair for me. I'm probably gonna move on to the next color, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to return it on the store and then it'll probably take me forever to get my, my um, shade because they don't have this in this Sephora 
stores. You can only order it online, so it's very difficult. But anyway, I will return that, definitely. And then in um, what I love most about Sephora is that you get a lot of freebies, samples, perfume samples, which I love because um, this is a chance for you to try those uh, perfumes that you are wanting to buy and they're not cheap you know I mean those uh, bigger uh, bottles always ends up to be over $50 sometimes over $100 so this is the best time to kind of like take advantage of trying on whichever scent that fits for you so I would take that I do have the Amazing Grace and I do have the Stella McCartney and um, I think uh, those are the only ones that are the perfume but I wanted also to try the Bare Minerals Bear Pro. I also wanted to try the eyeshadow primer potion and I was very interested of trying on the glitter glue from Too Faced because you know I want to have some glitter. I love glitters and sometimes they just fall off and at the end of the day they're all gone. I might have to use the glitter glue and the next thing that I have here is the mud mask. This is just a sample of the Sephora mud mask purifying and mattifying and mattifying. That's it. So it comes with a little tub like this and I'm sure I will get like two or three uses out of this or maybe not, maybe just one. But um, it's a good way for me to try the product and maybe, you know, I might like it and get the bigger tub. So those are the stuff that I got from Sephora. The next bag that I have is from Ulta, which I love Ulta so much because it's, it's just like a one-stop shop of everything. Um, they do have the drugstore products and uh, high-end products and some luxury products which I love. So in Ulta, the first thing that I got was um, I wanted to try this one. This is the Finishing Touch Flawless Facial Hair Remover. This is very interesting actually. This is the product. It says removes hair instantly and pain-free. That's what we want. It says no bumps, no redness, and no irritation. And lets you see even the finest hair. So I, I'm not a super hairy kind of girl, but definitely around this area I really hate it because I grow some light kind of like mustache, which I, re I hate it. I used to use the Sally Hansen for the face, but they really have a very foul smell and I really don't like it. And um, you have to wait for 10 minutes and then you have to rub it off with a warm towel. I really don't like the feeling because it just feels like burned around my, my, around my lips. So I would like to try this one because it says it's gentle on my skin. So why not, right? So if you want any kind of uh, review about this, I'll be very glad. And you can just leave me um, a comment in my description box below and I'll be very glad to talk about this in depth but that's only for the face I believe so the next thing that I have which I really love I got this body care from earth therapeutics um, this is the exfoliating body sponge I love this one because it doesn't contain so much of like compared with the body scrubs that are just like nylon that sometimes you can even get it from the dollar store because I just feel like you know we cannot avoid the fact that there might be some contaminants in there but this one is this um, exfoliating sponge. It has more like drying features. Like it dries a little, I mean, so much faster than the regular nylon. So I took advantage of getting this. I was going to get two, but other lady needed it. So I just have to share. So this one, this is very affordable too. I think this is like $2.50 or $3. I'm not exactly sure, but somewhere around the price range. So the next thing that I also have is the Eco Tools. Total Perfecting Blender. I became very, very curious about this product because Alexandra Garcia, which already had, uh, she already had her baby boy, so congratulations. And it's because of her, I think she's the ambassador of Eco Tools. So I, I love watching her tutorials. So she told me that, no, nah, well, no. Actually explaining to everyone in her video that this works really great. So I believe her. It kind of makes sense um, the way everything, the application of her makeup was really, really good. So I would like, I would like to try it also. So I purchased it, and it's 100% vegan. And it, it will also have a very airbrushed base. So that is really, really nice. I love the airbrush kind of look. So everybody knows that Ulta is having this. Um, everyday thing with the discounted prices of any kind of products that they would feature in 
every day. So at the time, I'm not exactly sure, I don't remember when was the time that I went to Ulta, but at the time it was the Tarteiste um, Double Take Eyeliner is the one that is in promotion on that day. And I got this for only $12 on that day. And is the, reg the regular price is $24. So 50% off is not a bad deal. Knowing that I have not tried this before and this is a chance for me to try it. I'm sure it's great. It's from Tarte. And the next thing that I've got is I was not planning to get this palette because I felt like it's too kind of like for kids like younger or whatever and it's just like the new hype nowadays. It's a unicorn and I got the Too Faced Unicorn palette. Like what I said, I was not planning to purchase this but when I saw it on the rack Somebody told me, I don't know who, that I have to get it. I just have to justify myself. So it is super cute and I don't even want to take it off from its box because the box itself is very, very beautiful. I've been drawn to unicorns and apparently my daughter loves it too. So, you know, I just join her with the fun of unicorns. So it looks like this inside and I'm sure everybody has seen that from other YouTubers. It looks very... I just have to be very careful because my daughter would see it and I'm sure she would love to play with it because it's very entertaining and it does have the mirror over here and the colors are also very cute. It's not something or maybe I'm not exactly sure but it's not something that you can wear every day but um, special occasions or special days or whatever you feel like the colors are very usable they're not that weird kind of colors that is difficult to use I am really looking forward of trying that also the colors why not and it's just a matter of blending it properly but I'm really glad that I caved in and I got it finally so that's the one I will have to just put it back in the box because I just just don't want to throw away the box so the next thing that I also got was also from the, that family of the Too Faced Rainbow Strobe. It is the Rainbow Effect Highlighter. It came in this little container, just like the regular container of a blush or a highlighter, but it's so cute because as you can see, it is. So this one is beautiful and I would like to see it already because I have not. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. But don't you, I feel like I'm too old for this kind of like highlighting thing. But, you know, for tutorial purposes or for sometimes that is like a fun moment that I want to play with my makeups with my daughter, especially, these colors are pretty promising. I think I made a mistake. I was trying to grab on the bronzer one, but I ended up grabbing the highlighter. But it's not so bad. Something that I can still use for some special occasions. So definitely I'll be using this. I'm glad that I did not skip this um, collection. Again, I'm putting it back to the box because it's really pretty. And the next thing that I've got, and I got like a lot of um, comments about it, it's these um, Intensive Heal Repair by Earth Therapeutics. The lady in the counter told me that this works really well for her. She got like a really very smooth feet and I have issues about my feet especially on my heel area i have the tendency that i get a really really very dry heel so i really need help because this is like a moisturizing balm for dry cracked heels it's perfect and they told me that it really works really really well so definitely i will start using it tonight as soon as i'm ready for bed and it does have that mint scent and it has like a ton loads of ingredients which i will not say it right now because my video will end up to be like two hours long. They told me that it's really good, so I will try it. The next thing that I have is, which is I'm really, really happy that I took advantage of that. I'm not exactly sure if this was on sale or I don't know what, but it was really good price. And I got this, um, I tried to do the mask once a week. I got the Tony Moly mask, the I'm real, I'm real mask. I have all this and this one so it's a, it might not look so much but like what I said I only use it like once a week every day I do have my own kind of like I use different skincare every day 
Uh, I'm not exactly sure why. It's just how I got used to. I just feel like if I just stick with one skincare, I feel like it's just my skin is just going to get used to it. I don't know. But so far, it looks like it's very effective if I have, you know, my own kind of like concoction of skincare. Maybe one day I can share to all of you. Maybe it might work to you too as much as it worked for me. So definitely I will make that video sometime maybe soon so yes but one thing for sure you have to have time to make sure that your skin is very clear and this mask has been helping me so much it doesn't really matter if it's this mask or some mask from the drugstore like walgreens are starting to put some masks from different products i mean from different brands so you can just definitely try that on and make sure that you moisturize your face so i will tackle more about skincare later on because it's a little bit eh, whatever you know there's no certain rule but it's just a matter of knowing what your skin is or knowing yourself knowing how your skin works so the next thing that i got which i'm i'm excited to try because it was highly recommended by one of the youtubers that i've been watching i totally forgot who and the only thing that i remembered is the name of the product it's called the changing you magic foot peeling shoes this is just like the mask but it's for your feet and definitely everything will be peeling off like all the calluses i guess and those um, parts where the cracked heels and stuff so i just saw the last two of them and i took advantage and took both of them because i really want to get my my heel to be smooth again so i will let you know about this if you have any questions regarding this uh, foot mask i'll be very glad to discuss this and let you know how it goes with my experience with them and let you know so i guess that's all i got from my sephora and ulta it's quite a bit you know i mean i've had them for like a month or a month and a half or two so so that i can just do my sephora haul and ulta haul together and i will have to introduce all these products to you guys and make some suggestions of what would be the best for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be looking forward on my next video and I'll see you guys. Bye!